Hi everyone, so today we'll speak about filtered columns and calculus of fraction and bicategory theory. This work has been supervised by Dorit Ponk and Martin Zill from Dalzi University, so thank you to you both. So this presentation is an overview of a paper that should be online by the time you're watching this video. In this paper, we generalize two results from ordinary category theory. The first of which is a result from Gabriel and Zisman that says that if you have a category with a calculus of fraction W, then you can compute the um sets of the localization as filtered colimits of sets. The second result from SGA tells you that if you have a pseudo functor from a filtered category C to cats, you can compute its colimits by doing a calculus of fraction on the Gordon deconstruction. As we'll see later, three very important notions interact here, mainly fraction, filteredness, and vibrations. So the idea of the paper is to notice that there, are, there is some sort of dimensional ladder that we can slowly climb up in order to build our results in higher dimension. So what Gabriel and Zisman says is that if you can compute filtered colimits of sets, then you can compute the calculus of fraction of categories. And what SGA says is that if you can compute the calculus of fraction of categories, then you can compute category indexed filtered pseudocolimits in cats. Well, the first thing we do in the paper is to slightly generalize this result by SGA. So actually, only using calculus of fraction of categories, you can compute by category indexed filtered pseudocolimits in cats. And when you have this larger family of colimits, you can now compute the um categories of a bicategory of fraction. And using this formulation, you can now work with bicategory index filtered tricolimits in bicats. And of course, as we can go up the dimensional ladder, we can always go down by applying pi zero, where in which, uh, in, in this case, pi zero means that we consider the adjoints of the inclusions of sets into cat and cat into bicats. So in order to establish all those results, we need some sort of formula to deal with colimits in higher dimension. So to establish this formula, we study the Buckley's theory of vibration of bicategories. So let's dive into what Buckley does. Buckley has a construction that generalizes the notion of Gordon deconstruction to dimension two. So it takes a tromorphism from a bicategory B to bicats and sends it to some pseudo functor inside bicats that has the property of being a co-fibration. Um, so Buckley's results, the main result from Buckley says that this uh, construction is actually an embedding. And so another way to say that is that you can co-restrict it to a tri covalence if you pick cofib as the codomain. So cofib here would be the tri category of co-fibrations. And in our paper, we just add a small key observation that the Gordon deconstruction actually is a generalization of the disjoint union. And when you see it as such, you realize that if you do the Gordon deconstruction of a constant functor, you should get the constant multiplied by the index. And so by taking a look at the Buckley's result in our key observation, we get a three line proof of essentially a computation of all conical tricolimits and bicats. So on the left-hand side here, you have the bicategory of cocones on f at of a apex x. On the right-hand side, you have a translation by Buckley's result that says that it's some sort of bicategory of co-cartesian functors, which by definition is some sort of bicategory of functors from the Gordon deconstruction to x that will send all co-cartesian arrows and two cells to equivalences. And this exactly tells you that the conical tricolimits in bicats can be computed as localization of the Gordon deconstruction at the co-cartesian arrows and two cells. There is a slight problem though at, with this formula is that the localization of a bicategory is complicated to imagine and especially is complicated to work with if you want to localize at the two cells. And so in the rest of this paper and presentation, we try to ditch the requirement to actually have to localize at those two cells. One first very efficient way to ditch this requirement is to get a discrete diagram, so only working with categories that don't have two cells. And so we, get a, we take a filtered by category B and a pseudo functor from B to cats, and we can immediately express the colimit of F with the previous formula by applying pi zero. And the first simplification we can make is that it's not necessary to localize at the two cell. And then we can also say that 
by zero actually commutes with the localization by looking at the universal property. And this tells you that the co-limit can be computed using only one dimensional calculus of fraction as developed by Gabriel and Zizman. This tell, gives you a generalization of a result by Dubuck and Street that focuses on two categories and strict two functors. And essentially, the co-limit looks like this. So you have the objects that are just elements of the functor, the arrows in the co-limits are roofs, and on the ridge of the roof, you want to have an arrow in the index category. And those arrows are up to homotopies, and the homotopies are roofs of roofs, where on the ridge, you get some sort of commutative square of arrow in the index category. Using this new larger family of columns, we can now generalize Gabriel and Zisman's result to dimension two. So if you take a bicategorial fraction, you can express its own categories as filtered pseudo-columns of categories. This actually is helpful because it allows you to generalize the notion of calculus of fraction to a slightly larger setting. And the way to do this is simply to tweak the family W by playing with initial functors. And what happens is that you can weaken the closure axiom that you put on W. So instead of asking, for example, that W is stable on the composition, you could ask for the axiom minus one, minus one frac that's on the, on the slide here. So that if you have a, a composition of n arrows of W, then there exists some sort of, there exists the dotted arrows here and the invertible in the middle, invertible cell, two cell in the middle, that gives you this, this sort of way to have a, a closure axiom. And now, using this slightly more general notion of localization of cat by categories, we can try to work with tricolimits, filtered tricolimits and by cats. And so, if we take such a filtered diagram, then the first thing we can do is look at the canonical functor from the Gauton deconstruction to its localization. And we can notice that this canonical functor already sends the co Cartesian two cells to equivalences. And because it does, we can see that it's not necessary to further localize by those co-cartesian two cells. And hence, we can immediately prove that the filtered tricolimits of this functor is the localization by calculus of fraction of the Gordon deconstruction. And hence, we just have to use Pong's formula of by categories of fraction and Buckley's formula for the Gordon deconstruction of triomorphism, and we can get a formula for the filtered tricolimits of by categories. This formula is, follows the same pattern as the one we had before, so the objects are also elements, the arrows are, are the, same, the same description exactly. We don't have homotopies uh, between arrows, but we have pre-2 cells, and the pre-2 cells are essentially the same thing, except that the commutative square of arrows that we had doesn't make any sense now because it's a bi-category, so you just want to fill this square by your 2 cell. And those free two cells are now up to homotopies, and the notion of homotopy is once again a roof on what you had before. And on the bridge of the roof, you want to have some sort of commutative cube of two cells. So you can see that there is some sort of pattern that's building up, and in the paper, we dig a little bit deeper on what this pattern is and what this pattern could look like in higher dimensions. And by the time you watch this video, it's very likely we're already working on a second paper. So the goal of the second paper is to take all of those results and to this time embrace the idea that we need to localize at the two cells. And so first what we can do is that we can generalize slightly the result from Buckley to a lax setting by, by considering lax natural transformation between our triomorphisms. And this leads, you, leads us to compute a much larger family of tricolimits in, uh, in bicats. And then by trying to generalize the notion of calculus of fraction to a notion where you have a distinguished family of arrows and a distinguished family of two cells, we hope that we can compute a much larger family of filtered tricolimits of bicategories. And this much larger family would, in particular, englobe the family of all tricolimits of bicategories that would commute with finite trilimits of bicategories. Thank you for watching, and those are the references. I hope you enjoy CT this week.